hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel today we bring to you just on regina Chuko. regina Chuko is one of the strongest women i've ever heard a story she is resilient and a go-getter she's someone who sets her mind on something and she ensures she gets it and this brings us to the gist of today which is her celebrating her daughter's 21st birthday and not just that she's celebrating it as a single mom and she's one person that usually goes down memory lane anytime she celebrates her children's birthday either it's her son or her daughter she celebrates with memory because she was four years into her marriage when she lost her husband to the cold hands of death and the regina chuku has been pushing as a single mom in fact she didn't remarry she strived from nothing to something yes she moved from grass to greece sharing one of this touching story was when she decided to celebrate her daughter's 21st birthday sharing on her instagram page a picture of her lookalike daughter and herself she celebrated and thanked god for how far they've come in fact she stated that they had no clothes on their back as at the time she lost her husband Narrating this story, she said, and I quote, Happy birthday, our mother's daughter. It's my first child and only biological daughter's 21st birthday. It's been a great journey getting here and looking back, all I can murmur under my breath is we made it here. Thank you, Lord. Permit me to take you all on a short journey down memory lane. A bit emotional this morning. So it happened that when I had to take my sick husband, now late, Back to the village as i have exhausted all avenues possible to see that his health improves so i decided to take him back to his parents so we can all know what next to do i left amaka with my parents back here in lagos and went with the little baby i just had after some months their father eventually died and i was shattered Turning a widow at that young age wasn't something I bargained for. It was indeed the most confused, painful, devastating, excruciating time of my life. Still is. I didn't even know what to feel or do. Now, as the custom of the land demands, his children had to be present. I had one with me, so my mom brought Chiamaka, who was just two years old then. The little girl was just so happy to see mommy every other thing she doesn't understand lol i looked at her and fresh tears made their ways down my cheek i said to myself ah, i will take duam now in my 20s with two kids how regina how remember i was sitting there with zero naira balance we had spent everything we are trying to save their father's life even a good piece of clothes to my name so sorry guys tears won't let me continue got to stop here please help me wish my daughter a happy birthday please help me pray for my daughter please help me thank god please help me sing a song of praise happy birthday one for rachel her mother's daughter i love you deep my bestie of all time and quote this was regina chuku sharing this heartfelt message and story with her fans and of course asking people to pray and wish her daughter a happy birthday regina chuku also shared a touching story where she celebrates her daughter's birthday when she clocked 18 sharing that she thought her daughter was eventually going to use a wheelchair after she gave birth to her because her legs were not looking normal and she was so scared in fact her husband made jest of her sharing this searching story she shared the picture and also took us down memory lane and she said in her words and i quote a long epistle saying okay okay it's what yamaka's day and i am the most excited our mother's daughter is 19 and the feeling is so real let me tell y'all a story that looking back now is so funny but at the time it happened i cried my eyes out the hospital delivered like an Hebrew woman but I noticed something but wasn't so sure as the baby was taken away almost immediately. While they were cleaning me up, all I wanted to see my baby again. So as soon as I got to the ward, I rushed to open the clothes. Used in wrapping her, it was mixed feeling. One of my fears, confusion, was her skin color when I saw her in the delivery room. Her color was like a baby brought out from mud, clay mud. Her head long and I was like, what's in a bone? No. You can imagine my joy when I saw a very beautiful clear skin baby. Don't blame me, I was a new mom. Now, what made me cry? Now, the second thing I noticed in the delivery room was that one of her legs wasn't looking normal. How do I explain this? 
like it wasn't relaxed like the other leg and she let out a terrible cry as the nurse tried to straighten or so i thought to be sure it wasn't my imagination i checked and behold one leg was on the bed and the other leg was on her chest wearing the this i tried relaxing the leg as she screamed out of pain by then her father and my mom's friend came and was congratulating me distracted but my mind was still on what i noticed end quote regina chuko went ahead to explain now her husband told her that she should better do something about it and he doesn't have any money for a wheelchair she busted into tears but eventually they all laughed about this and her husband apologized and today she's grateful to god that her child could walk like every other normal children without the help or the use of a wheelchair. Explaining further that she didn't even want a second child as they were in abject poverty. But today she's grateful to God that she's able to cater for herself and her children and she's doing excellently well. Sharing this same news was when she celebrated her son's birthday, Madabuchi, narrating how her pastor revealed to her and told her that she's going to be having a son. At that time, she didn't even realize she was already two weeks gone. She shared saying, I walked in into my then pastor's office. I had come for counseling after exchanging pleasantry. The pastor showed me to a seat as I made to sit comfortably. He said, and I quote, Sister, the Lord will visit you with a male child soon. On hearing that, my eyes went straight to the calendar that was hung on the wall of his office. Then I realized I was two weeks late. There and then, the world around me collapsed. I was supposed to be happy, but I was not. Why? Ask. As at that time, we were living from hand to mouth. My husband was sick, and to crown it all, Rachel was just one year. At that spot, I decided abortion was the solution, but I made sure not to betray my emotion in the presence of our pastor. I got home and I said to my husband, I think I am pregnant. And like I had envisaged, he said it to me point blank. We are getting rid of it. How do we have another child in this condition? He said, okay, but the pastor said it's a male child. Though. And like the typical Igbo man that my husband is now, his face brightened up at the mention of a male child. So he said to me, Chi, maybe we should leave it. God will provide. It was from zero to hundred in less than a minute. To cut the long story short, Madabuchi Richard Mwafo came into our lives after nine months and the father left us when it was just four months. He waited for him. A lot of things happened in that space of 13 months, but it's a story for another day. My son, thank God I kept you. You and your sister have been a great source of strength to me these past years. Sunday left me with the most beautiful gift, which is the both of you. And I love that you are my kids because no one understands me like the both of you. I pray this will not be your last birthday on earth. Your father died young. You will live to be very old. I will never have any cause to cry over you both. End quote. This was Regina Chuku explaining what she had gone through. And she usually does this every year. She celebrates her children's birthday. Well, we say a very big birthday to Omwa for Chiamaka Rachel and long life and prosperity. More strength among Greece to the elbow of Regina Chuko as she continually raised her children and she will surely reap the fruit of her labors. Well, guys, there you have it. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.